friends! Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are a subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me for another video. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name's Laura and this is my channel, Classic Kit Frugal, where I share uh, lots of lifestyle budgeting videos and um, just whatever comes across our family, <laughs> comes across our paths. I'm married to Phi, my husband, and we have a little 22-month-old girl. Her name is Esther, and I'm now currently expecting number two, a little boy, who will be coming in September, probably. So thank you for joining us. I hope you will join us for future videos along with our family as well. Today, I am so pleased to be taking part in a collaboration. This collaboration was put together by Mary Ann Ramish. She's a lovely young lady who has a YouTube video or a YouTube video, YouTube channel on budgeting. Definitely check her out though. I think she's wonderful. She's got this wonderful good personality and I really enjoyed watching her videos and getting to know her a little little tiny bit. Also there are several other people taking part in this collaboration so please after you finish the video scroll down and check out in the description box below, I will put a playlist of the people who um, are also doing this same video or topic. And today I want to tell you about my favorite budgeting or money quote. But before I can really get into the quote, I think I need to give you a little bit of background on it because otherwise it doesn't perhaps make sense as to why it's my favorite quote. So, um, first of all, I have never been a really, really big spender. I've never been a big shopper. I enjoy shopping, but it's not, it's not a hobby of mine and I'm certainly not a big spender. I've never spent on big ticket items and all that kind of stuff. But when I got married, I did get married with debt. I had a little bit of debt and so did my husband. And although I had been taught to save money and be careful with my money and all of that, since I was a child, the need to be frugal, the need to budget became much bigger when we got married. And you know, we wanted to do things. Obviously, first of all, we had to pay for part of our wedding. Um, we got married in Colombia, so it was flights and all sorts of stuff. And then, you know, as, as we got married, just things came along our way. We ended up moving completely across the country. We have done lots of different things together. And it's just, it's different than being single. And my need to manage our family's money became much bigger than it ever had before. And um, that is when I found the YouTuber Lydia Sen. I was Googling, I think, how to make how to make a budget or how to make a grocery budget, I think, and her video popped up. And I started watching her videos and she, I found her really, really inspiring. And that's when I kind of got into the frugal living YouTubing world by watching her videos. And, um, you know, I, start, I started to learn how to save money. I knew I should save money. <laughs> But I learned how to save money on groceries and I started learning how to use cash envelopes and all of these things that are really specific, like how to actually attain my goal. And um, it was going well, but I was struggling. It was hard. It was hard to get out of debt. It was hard not to say, oh, we're just gonna pay for our flights to Columbia you know, on the credit card and when we get back, we'll pay for them. Everything will be easier when we get married. You know, I'll deal with it later. That kind of procrastination mentality. Oh, I'll pay for that later. I'll pay for that later. No, like I had to change some of my mentality and how to, how to deal with money. And um, it was hard. It was very hard. And Everybody, and I mean everybody, was criticizing me. <laughs> if I was too extravagant for one person, I was too cheap for the next person. Oh, why didn't you buy a bigger Christmas gift? 
Oh, you can't be serious. You're going out to eat again? You should just cook food at home. There was criticism from every possible angle. And it was so hard for me to know. How do I budget? Like, how, what is important? What is not important? And on top of that, at that point in our lives, for both of us really, um, newly married, our friends and my family criticized every choice we made where we lived, they criticized my marriage, they criticized our desire to have children, what we did with our money. I mean, it was just, it was a challenging time in life, not just for our money and our, our you know, our budgeting aspect, but every, every aspect of life was hard. And it was made harder by negativity and criticism. And one day I was just, I was feeling down and I was just, to be honest, I was wasting time on my phone. <laughs> and I went on YouTube and I watched one of Lydia Sands' videos. And her videos are always encouraging and, and helpful. And she said something that really struck me and that really changed the way I started making choices. It wasn't an immediate change, but it gradually started changing how I was making choices and how I was budgeting, what I spent my money on, all of these kind of things. And that was the quote, swim in your own lane. Now, of course, I'm sure you've heard the concept before. Don't look at the Joneses kind of thing. But it was the first time that I'd really thought about that concept in terms of budgeting and my own life and applying it to my own life. It was the first time that I realized that so, so they spend this and that to do whatever they want to do and they, they don't spend X, Y, and Z to buy this or that. They make it themselves. That's them. I need to decide, okay, what's right for my family? What's right for me right now? And it started changing how my husband and I communicated about money and talked about it. It wasn't, well, you know, they budget X amount for this. You know, how much are we going to budget for groceries? How much are we going to spend on entertainment? How much are we going to spend on clothes? Swim in your own lane. It wasn't an immediate change for me, it was gradual, but it started helping me change how I thought about money and my choices with money. I honestly think it's the best budgeting advice ever. Yes, there are certain aspects of budgeting and being frugal that are, that are good across the board. If you don't have money, don't spend it. Don't use your credit card if you don't have money to pay it back. That's good advice for everybody. But the really, most of the nitty gritty of how you use cash envelopes or you use this app to track your spending or you, you know, buy groceries here or there. Those are things that if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. You're not, you're not making a budget that functions. You have to do what works for you within you know certain certain guidelines of being smart with your money and I have really appreciated that quote I don't actually remember exactly what video I was watching that day anymore <laughs> which is unfortunate because I would definitely um, put that link in the description but I will link Lydia Sen's channel down below if you've never watched her you definitely should she's so inspiring um, their personal story is incredible. Take that advice into your own life, into your own home, into your own relationships, and your own money choices. Swim in your own lane. It makes a huge difference when we stop trying to compare ourselves with other people. And um, not only, I think, has it made me better in budgeting and making wiser choices, but it's also made me happier. It makes me happier not to be continually comparing myself with other people. It makes me happier to just be doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing for my family. So anyways, 
that is my favorite money quote. I'd love to hear it. What is your favorite money quote or even your favorite maybe concept that has helped you budget and get more on track? Please leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to check all the other YouTubers out who are involved in this collaboration. I am very excited to watch all of their videos as well and get some more inspiration. Because hey, it doesn't matter how long I've been living on a budget for, I need inspiration. Sometimes it's hard. So I hope you will also join me for future videos and um, see you in my next one. Bye bye.